Hello everyone, let's start with question number 2 of exercise 2.2, sorry 2.3. So here we are given with fx equal minus mod x. So in this case, people usually get confused like how to write this equation. So I will show you a very easy method to write this question and how to express this in a better way. So I will be taking some value of x here. So I hope you are familiar with mod x. So whenever we take any value inside this mod x, it will be a positive value. So suppose if I take minus 2, so mod of minus 2 will be 2 only. So if you take any positive value, like suppose you take mod of 2, so it will be 2. So whenever we take mod of any number or whether it could be negative or positive, it will be a positive number only. And the number remains unchanged. So let us take some positive values and some negative values. Now value of x is given to us. Now we need to put it into value of mod x. Now mod 2 is 2. Mod 1 is 1. Mod 0 is 0. My mod of minus 1 is 1. Mod of 2 is 2. Now we need to find the value of function. Value of function fx minus x. Now remember in this case the minus sign is outside. So mod x is 2. We need to put the value of 2 here. So it will be minus 2. In the second one it will be minus 1. In the next one it will be 0. And the next one minus 1 again. In the next one it will be minus 2. Now we need to check whether they are real numbers or not. Now you can see minus 2, minus 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2. All are, all are real numbers. You can see that they belong to real numbers. Now you can see here as well in fx. fx will be, will be negative or 0. So therefore we can suggest that the fx belongs to real number. And you can take any number here and check your answer you will either get a negative number or zero so all the negative numbers or zero are considered to be real numbers so therefore the domain of this will be real number so domain belongs to r all real numbers the, now the next thing we need to find is range so range is either zero or a negative number. So range can be written as close bracket minus infinity and with an open bracket minus infinity comma zero. So it will be our range. So this is first part of question number two. Now in the second one we need to prove that fx equal under root nine minus x square and we need to find the domain and range for x same similarly so again i would be using the tabular method so i would be taking some some values of x here i would take some positive values as well as negative values to it so minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and minus 4 now we need to put the value of 4 into fx so my fx is 9 minus x square so when we put here 9 minus x square, 9 minus 16 under root. So 9 minus 16 is minus 7. So the first value is under root, sorry, under root minus 7 inside. So value of fx is under root minus 7. Now the next value we need to put is 3. So 9 minus 3 square is 9. So that means 9 minus 9 is 0. Now we need to put 2. So 9 minus 4 square. It is under root 5. Next one 9 minus 1. So it will be under root 8. 9 minus 0. So it will be under root 9 which equals 3. Now minus 1. Minus 1 square is 1 only. So 9 minus 1 is under root 8. Minus 2. Minus 2 square is 4. So 9 minus 4 is under root 5. Now minus 3 square is 9. 9 minus 9 is 0. Now minus 4. 9 minus 
16. 9 minus 16 is again minus 7. So, we need to now check whether it is a real number or not. So, the first one is not a real number. Why? Because it is minus 7 under root. So, it is not a real number. 0 is a real number. Under root 5 is a real number. Under root 8, 3, under root 8, under root 5 and 0. These all are real number. But the last one is as well is not a real number here again. So you can see that fx is between 0 and 3. The numbers we have in fx is it is between 0 and 3 and x can be is between 3 and minus 3. So therefore the domain, the possible domain for this is minus 3 and 3. Now the range, if we talk about range, range will be any number from 0 to 3. Maximum it is 3. So 0 to 3. So we can write like this. So this is your answer for question number 2. Thank you for watching this.